think that is that's spending your money wisely. Yeah. So I think this guy is below us or below you know you in in terms of skill. So if you just walk all over him, then we'll find somebody else or just use uh, myself. But for the time being, I want to walk you through kind of some of the considerations that are uh, carte blanche in PvP. Really, I mean, it doesn't matter if he's worse than you or better. This, these are the considerations you make. So I want you to either scout after nine pylon or after the gateway. Either one is fine. You want to do the pylon on more maps that you're worried about cheese or against opponents you're worried about cheese. So if you think it's a, a cannon rush map like Metalopolis, um, then you want to do that. Or if you're playing a buddy who, who proxies or an opponent you know, down the road that you've faced many times in the ladder and they love their proxy crap, then you want to scout up for the 9 pylon. Yeah. I, I almost always scout up for the 9 pylon because I have lost way too many games to proxy crap. There you go. And I'm the same way, buddy. That's what I do. Not because it's the necessary scouting time, but because it is the, uh, well, I guess we could use the word necessary. It's happened enough. Yeah. Now, when you pull into their base, there's a couple considerations you need to have. Start that probe. Yep. You want to look at their chrono boost. Okay, so if they're conserving their chrono boost, if they're at like 50, 60, and so on, then obviously that's for something, and nine times out of ten, it's for, it's for four gate. Okay? Um, if you're in close positions, like you should start feeling like you are right now, that also increases the uh, proficiency of foregating. It's more likely to happen. It's just a, an aggressive mindset. There's no other real reason for it, because foregate obviously, for the most part, negates distance. It doesn't really matter. So you made your gateway at 12. Good. You'll notice that your gateway is actually slightly faster than his. Right, so I should have warp gates done before him if I don't fuck up chrono boosting. Correct. Um, but really what we're doing is we're creating a narrative for likelihood of foregate, because he might not. Not everybody foregates, especially if you do deterring things, like um, if you put down your gateway faster, or you know, if your chrono boosting is, is saved just like his. Now I love that you're mirroring your, your chrono boosting with his, I think that's fantastic. You do want to throw down your gas here at least at 14, pro or excuse me, at 15 supplies, so you're a little bit late on that. Yeah. Now with your probe, you're going to be watching. Does he take his second gas? Is he saving his chrono boost? You have to constantly be watching for that. Gateway finishes, warp gate should go up, ASAP. And again, as you mentioned earlier, that does mean that yours is slightly faster than his. But when it's this when it's this faster, like, you know, four seconds, yeah. might as well be nothing. I love that you started the Zealot when you did, that's great, and you're not chasing his probe, so the Zealot will do that for you, you want to send the rally to his probe, so keep your probes coming out, you do want to make like a second gateway here pretty soon, and you'll actually notice, what, he just chrono boosted his gateway, so, so that's actually either a, a big mistake, or it's the beginnings of some strategy. So you just want to make a stalker pretty regular after that. You got your Zealot there, coexisting with his probe, I think it's cute but unnecessary. Good. Now you notice he chrono boosted his nexus, and he's making his second gas. So guess what? Hundred thousand percent. This is not he's a four not gate. Four gating. This is attack. So you need to make a choice. Either you got to punish him by adding a, a third and fourth gate, or you need to take your second gate and tech or gas. And I would recommend the gas because I want to walk you through a different uh, build order slash style. Okay. Everyone knows how to four gate, right? Like you didn't play fifteen hundred games and not know how to four gate. Right. Right. You do want to leave pretty soon though. His stalker's going to pop out. Now between the Two of you, you've got your stalker out. You do need to be at that ramp, exactly. And you can see a probe's actually making its way to your base quite boldly. Interesting. Uh, supply block, I'm not used to uh, doing anything other than four gate here. Great. Oh, okay, yeah, I hear you. So put your probe on the tower between the two of you, probably. And you want to make a third gateway, and then a robo. And the reason you want to do it that way is if he is doing some kind of funky four gate, like he just faked you out, if you yeah. have two gates, you're dead. If you have three, you can survive. But two gates, you just won't make enough stuff. But then you want to get that robo up pretty dang quick. And while you're making the robo, you want to start a, a sentry as well. Your warp gates are finished. Great. Now keep the probes coming out, and I would chrono boost the probes. It's not much else to chrono boost at this stage, but you don't want to hit 100. Make a sentry or two. I like the one. And then you want to be hugging that ramp. Now, the next thing you need to do in every single PvP, so get those units up there, is you need to clear your base. There was a probe in your base for a while. It's still in there. Is it actually still in here? Well, oh, I mean, maybe oh, it is, it is, but maybe it's not. 
If I thought um, I saw But it more importantly, maybe it built a pylon, right? So keep the probes coming out, keep chrono boosting them. Again, your energy is pretty high. You've got an idle probe out there. We are not Terran, sir. You can uh, warp in and then go on your merry way. There you go, exactly. Chrono boost out a center observer. I always call them the other one, which is really weird, because they're clearly just an observer and it doesn't sound anything like a sentry. So you cleared your base, good. Now get that stalker back up at the ramp, and you need to be at the ramp. Okay, I can't say how important it is uh, enough. Now don't make any more sentries, in fact, don't make any more gas units, because we're going to save our gas for Colossus. Okay. But your observer's going to be what kind of gives you the story here. Now here he comes towards that tower. In fact, he's... Oh, you beast him at the tower, never mind. Man, they killed my probe. Should I go try to reclaim that tower? Yeah, I always, with the stalker, sure. I mean, worst case scenario, he's got more than you. Uh, as long as you don't bring the sentries and zealots, you should be just able to outrun them. Just the stalkers, oh, okay. Yeah, just the stalkers. And you're, you see what your sentry or your observer just showed you is you're safe. There's nothing outside your base. Right. Now go check for his expansion, and then you want to check his tech. Because if he's expanded, you either need to expand right away or, or punish him for that expansion. He's got an expansion. And there's the expansion, and it's almost done, so I would probably just throw it on your Nexus. Okay. Now, don't leave that observer there. You gotta be, like, a, a paranoid with that observer, meaning, okay, you're looking at his army, that's great, but you're on borrowed time. At this point, it looks like I could just go kill him, almost. Uh, I would agree with you if you had a Colossus. Uh, almost. <laughs> Yeah. So Chrono boost the crap out of that Colossus when it comes out. Yeah. Especially since you just now hit 100 energy. And if there were... Oh, crap. If your chair were attached to an electric system, I would probably have that going. And I managed to get supply blocked. Great. That's okay. Like I said, being spoken to while playing is really difficult. Yeah. Um, so your expansion is going to be a little bit later than his, but your tech's going to be ahead of his, right? And that's okay. That's a fine exchange. But it has to be well balanced and, and pursued. Now you sent these probes way, way too, early. too early. That's not good. So keep chrono boosting both the range and Colossus as you can. Good. And there goes all that energy. From this point forward, just stay on top of that energy, okay? So Yeah. Forgetting for a little period of time is fine. Now where's that observer? You do want to check out his base. He's going for two Stargates here. Uh, Phoenix? Ah, uh, probably Void Ray. Void Ray. And that's interesting. That changes things. This, yeah, this is new. This is what people do. I, they do a more Void Ray. Could I push them right now? I just got a Colossus out right now. Sure. I think that you would be You need to warp in units, though. You need to cycle a unit, so you got to warp out. Take the gas, because you need the gas. And he just killed your observer. So here's the important thing. These sentries are actually what's going to win it for you. If that Immortal gets anywhere near your Colossus, you're dead. But right. if it doesn't touch your Colossus, then you're, you're going to win. Good. Now keep warping in units. Watch the Colossus. It's fine. It's not, it's not being hit. Good. And I think that's uh, the end of that. <laughs> yep. Well done. I mean, it's close position. That's good. A couple things I want to take away from this, though. Uh, we did have the energy run up a little bit. Yeah. And you were surprised to see that tech. And I'll tell you... Uh, probably just a little bit higher than where you are in the ladder is people are doing that right and left all over the place um, and what it is is if you don't notice and you're just going like two robo colossus and you make stalkers or whatever and then they show up with 12 void rays you're dead you got the worst end of that big time um, so you just need to be aware of that and that just means you either have to hit them before they get up to that critical mass of void rays so when they're at like one or two um, or you need to take a tech switch, and it probably has to be like Phoenix to make up the difference because they build so much faster. Um, or it can be Storm. Storm is actually very good against Void Rays. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, but I don't recommend that necessarily because most people aren't uh, that close to the Storm tech. You know, like it, it takes the Twilight Council, the Archives, the Templar, and the Upgrade, right. whereas the, the Stargate is a Stargate. <laughs> so yeah. it's the easier response. Um, so that's the build. Let's let's try to hit that again, but there's a couple things too. Your money ran up a little high. You were late to take your second gas. The second they take their second gas, you need to say, okay, I'm going to forgate them. That son of a bitch thinks he can tech on me. Or 
you have to say, I'm going to tech as well. And it has to be as close to when they do it as you possibly can, right? This is a game of seconds when we're playing mirrors. We're both dealing with the same stuff. So if you do the same thing only slower, then guess what? You're, you know, you're just being less effective than they are. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I think I work on getting the supply block too a little bit there. Usually yeah. I throw down at 26, the two pylons right outside of his base, so I can warp in on top, which unsupply blocks me for the warp in. But You're a big four gator then. I, that's every PvP I do for the past <laughs> 300 games. Good. Well, then this is... Uh, I'm actually extremely proud that we're doing this then, because this is going to add some spice to your life. It's become very boring. When I see Protoss, I'm on the verge of just rage quitting when I see the loading screen. <laughs> yeah, I... Every time I get it, I'm just I go I take a deep, deep breath. I'm like, okay, time to defend the four gate. <laughs> yeah. Somebody just messaged me. Hey, do you offer lessons? Uh, a few. I might have done that a few times here and there. It's been known to happen. Now, uh, defending a four gate with a build like this is that possible, or can just four gate roll over you? I mean, if he's not four gating and I choose to not four gate, that's fine. It goes to a macro game. But if one of us four gates, does that kind of force the issue? Excellent question. So let me answer it this way: It is possible to defend, and if you defend it, you win. Um, but it isn't if it is. It's uh, you know, if they're doing the hardcore four gate, especially the kind where they can warp in above the the force field. Yeah. Then and it makes things difficult. So what you basically have to know is that like before you make that robo, you got to get a sentry out. You have to be on three gates. You have to have chrono boosted appropriately. And when he's blocked down from below the ramp at warping in zealots, you have to range those zealots. So don't run in with your zealots to engage his while his lower ground units shoot your zealots. You got to back off, fight his zealots in isolation with either your range units or your zealots in range units in combination. Um, and then keep blocking them down the ramp. And if you can do that, you can build up a, a, a critical mass of units where I don't care how much he warps and he's, he's going to lose it all, right? Hmm. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. He's not saving chrono boosting as a... Uh, not at all. And he's, you know, he's not Gateway close to later. Solutions. Gateway is later, good. So you got a choice here, and if we're working on teching, you could probably say to yourself, I'm going to, yeah, exactly, spend one Chrono Boost at least on your Nexus, which puts you on even footing. Uh, still no second gas yet. There it is. And that means yours right away. Second gas. And make sure that Zelt chases his. Now, when that Cybernetic score finished, and it has, and the gateway comes to life, you know you're on kind of borrowed time. You don't want to stay around just to lose it. He did make a second gateway, yeah. so again, you want to mirror that. Okay. And the Zealot's popped and is kind of standing idly in the middle of the map. Yeah, I was chasing the probe out, but the probe's gone. Okay. So again, when Actually, the stock gets out, you want to clear your base. Got to keep the probes coming out. Good job catching that 26 this time around. And then you want to make a second, or excuse me, a robo pretty quick here. If you didn't see him take that gas, now is when, I mean, you would have taken the third gate probably before the second gas. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about that. I mean, that does that timing make sense to you? Because that's what you're going to see more than. So if he took this. the second gas, I go two gates, then robo? Yes. Okay. In fact, this third gate is just being super cautious and safe. Um, in the future, you could probably go two gate robo. If they take the second gas. The other thing about that too is the second gas could be blink stalkers, which is super common. So actually the third gate's not that bad of a thing, but you need to get out a century or two. 
probably one sentry and then one stalker. And you should have done this um, because your warp gate just finished. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's okay though, not the end of the world. Um, but you don't want to make too many gas units because it'll affect how fast you can get Colossus out, okay? So you want this robo to finish, you want to be able to make a sentry and then the support bay immediately. So if you make too many stalkers or sentries, you can't do that. Because you've used up all your gas. So let right. these two sentries be it. Don't make anything else unless you have to. Meaning, unless you see like nine stalkers walking towards your base. And that sounds dangerous and crazy, but that's just the way this matchup plays out. So watch your supply, keep the probes coming out. I keep see his observer in my base. Probes. Yes, so that tells you it's a Robotech. Yeah. And when your observer pops out, I would look to snipe it, so move your air units over there. I mean, air attack units. Probably bring both. Alright, yeah, just one's fine. I didn't want to leave my rant completely alone. Yeah. There you go. Run him down. It's so good if you can kill it. It's dead. Good. Going now get you. your observer in his base for free vision, basically. Keep the probes coming out. Keep chrono boosting the probes. Watch your supply. So it, it's we're entering that stage where one pylon probably won't do it. And let that second stalker be it. Like seriously, if you could have one stalker and two sentries, and that's all you can get away with, then do it. It's all about Colossus. Nobody cares about stalkers in, in the early stages. The support bay. Just Here's support finished. bay. Check the expansion. Uh, he probably won't have one. Should he? oh, he does. That's he does. Yep. And Protoss do this, man. It looks stupid, and guess what? It is. But they do this. I lose this crap every day. Now here's what I don't like. You just park your, your sentry, your observer, yeah, right over his him. army. You can't do that. Never, ever, ever. It's not Terran. Um, they absolutely will have an observer there. So you need to throw down your Nexus or we can do the same thing. And I here's a Nexus and then Colossus push like right after the Colossus pops. Sure, we could do that. I mean one thing that you did see that I don't like about that is you saw that he has his support bay finish at a decent time too. So he'll probably True. have a Colossus by the time you get there. So I just go for the tech advantage. Like, uh, there's the expansion. I would start my range faster than him. Okay. And I, that's why I don't like that stalker again. He should have started range right now. And that's okay. We're pushing new ground. I'm training a four gator on how to tech, so. <laughs> just watch the supply, though. Exactly. Excellent job. And you do want one, at least one pylon below ground so you can warp in at your nexus. Now the other thing about PvP as well is uh, you never want them to occupy the tower for free for too long. Unless his army is parked outside your base, which you know it's not. I mean, you at least saw it at his expansion. You do want to dislodge his probe with a, with a stalker or two. Worst case scenario, you find out that his army is parked outside and you lose your shields. As long as you react fast enough, there's not much he can do to auto... Kill it. Now you don't want to chase it for too far. Good. Expansion finishes. Well timed probes this time around. Good. And now all your chrono boosting has to be reflecting on getting Colossus out ASAP. So now we're at our expansion, so you can build a second robo pretty soon here. Okay. And I'm I'm just gonna walk you through this verbally because I'm I'm guessing you're not too comfortable with this scenario. Um no ground units, no zealots, no stalkers unless your money gets out of hand. Everything has to be about getting Colossus out. So see how you have 300 minerals right now? Maybe you can afford to warp in a zealot. So warp in a zealot. Nope. Ah, and see, now you've warped in those guys. Now you can't make a Colossus. So instead of a 75 second Colossus, this is more like a 85 second Colossus. In fact, that wasn't that bad, but you, you get what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. That should have been sooner. So uh, occupy that gas over there. You are behind on gas. Pylons, good. Gas, good. Second robo needs to be, well, we can't produce just yet. So now that you get your second robo up, what are other things you can spend your money on? You can make a forge. You gotta keep the probes coming out because pretty soon we're gonna take our third. Yep, I've been doing a somewhat decent job of that, I think. Good. And maybe now's a good time to make an observer, by the way. Okay. Observe. You do want that one observer out at least. 
to stop him from just super scouting your army, right? Yep. And I don't like those elves. You need to take your third pretty quick. You don't well, need a ground army unless you're now. doing a timing. My money yeah, was going up like 700, so I figured that some zealots would not be too horrible. That's fine. You're actually bringing money really well because you, you do have good saturation. In fact, you're oversaturated your main, so you want to track uh, five or six to the natural where you're undersaturated. Now you just want to chrono boost the crap out of these Colossus. You could have made that forge for plus one, uh, but you do have an empty robo, so you got to prioritize that first. Now you can add like a fourth, maybe fifth gateway as well. Okay. Yeah, his third's just uh, going up now. He yep. has to move, uh, move any probes over to it. Good. Just be careful with that observer. There's his army. You got to be wary of that. Yep. And he doesn't notice. Maybe he does. I'm not sure. You got to run for he's, your he's, life. He's looking for, it, but his observer's the same speed as mine. So. But you got a good vision of his whole army. Yeah, he had like four Colossus in there. Yep. So you're ahead of him in Colossus, but behind in ground units. So warp in some zealots. Keep these Colossus coming out. I'm never worried about the ground army. Like honestly, they just take up space. As long as you're somewhere in the realm. Uh, but you're. Yep. There's transfer to the third. Get that forge going. And now you want, you want to make a Twilight Council for charge and also the next round of upgrades. So at what point do we actually engage, if ever? Almost never, buddy. <laughs> really? Not until you're maxed, yep. Uh, it's probably one of the mistakes I make a lot when it gets to this point, then I seem to always engage too quickly. And yep. then lose my whole army, and then he's ahead, and then it's With over. Colossus, the advantage goes to the defender. Because he'll, he'll get, like, one more shot off. Hmm. Charge or blink is better? Charge. You want to make more zealots. Excellent fourth timing. I like that you have that middle tower. You need to watch where his army is, and your army needs to be in position to receive it. So they're bunched up on top of each other like this. Yeah. The worst to receive it with. And there he is. So you want to cancel that. And then move to receive him at the third. You don't want to just attack move towards him. This is very delicate. So into the third right here. Yep. yep. Him attacking your, uh, you know, forcing a cancel is not that big of a deal. You losing your army, you lose the game. That's just it. You'll never, you'll never win a game where he does that. He used to be camping outside my base here. Yep, so just move into a position to receive him. And now he's moving back to his home base. Great, so just move out there like a... You know, take that fourth. Now you're almost maxed. Now here's the next stage, and I apologize for not directing you faster. You do want yep. the Stargate, Fleet Beacon, and Mothership. Really? Yep, Mothership in PvP is the super, super amazing, awesome weapon. It's not gimmicky, it's not it's not you being silly or anything, it's actually the best. I like the two Stargates, adding Void Rays is good. Now one thing too, in late game PvP you need to add a cannon at each Nexus. Late game Dark Templar, very common. Um, having observers is nice, but it's never going to be enough. You're not going to have enough observers to get to each base to stop them from murdering your economy. And here he comes down the middle. 